little over a week ago, I had a mishap where I actually um, shredded my leg on a garden fence bolt that I didn't remember was there. It went to slam the gate. It slashed across my leg and punctured into my leg. So I don't mean to gross you out. There is actually a lesson in this. So I go to the doctor and the doctor stitched me up. But in the middle of this, was a hole that she couldn't really fix. And she gave me some advice about how to behave with my leg. Um, she told me not to overexert my calf or it could continue to rip on the inside of my leg. So I don't necessarily want to hurt my leg, but I'm also impatient to get out there and do things, especially as the weather's getting a little warmer and it's been gorgeous and time to spin in the garden. And I wasn't probably as careful as I could be. And I've noticed some increasing pain and swelling over the last couple days telling me that something on the inside of my leg is not healing the way it probably should. Now that's a whole other issue, but it got me to thinking about how we do this with our spiritual lives. In the Bible, in Proverbs 4.23, it tells us, above all else, guard your heart for this is the wellspring of life. And it isn't literally talking about our heart. It's talking about in our inmost being, guard with diligence those things that help us. So when we think of the word of God to help us and guide us, it's not because God is trying to be rude and tell us how to live our lives so we don't have any fun. It's because he knows we can get hurt and he's trying to put in safeguards to make sure we are able to move forward carefully. Sometimes we don't listen. Like I didn't listen very carefully to my doctor and we do things that harm ourselves, even when we're not trying to harm ourselves. That's why God says, take a little bit more care. Listen to the things I'm telling you. It's not for your harm. It's for your good. So I encourage you as you dig into God's word to be especially mindful of those things that might rub you the wrong way or you feel prevent you from having a little fun. God's not trying to be evil or mean. He's trying to protect you. Something to contemplate this week.